Hello. Um, my name's Diana, and I don't know if you've saw, seen any of my videos in my channel, but I draw flowers on envelopes, and it has been suggested, Karina, thank you, um, that maybe I could try other things to draw on, and, and I'll look into it. It all depends on how it feels to me. Um, she suggested maybe making a picture frame, and uh, that sounds like a great idea. Uh, you know, my whole life could be drawing <laughs> one way or another. I decorate things. I get bored easily. So I'll include some other things that I draw. But um, today I'm going to show you how I make my uh, roses, the tighter roses, the ones that are just bunched up and haven't opened up. So um, I'm just going to start off. And nice and simple. I'm going to start in the more open area over here. You know that this is my name label area. This is the address area that I would normally leave on an envelope and for the stamp. So I'm just going to start with a little curl, curly cue. Then when I'm done, I just close it off. And that's basically the entire rose. But you you don't want to just keep going in huge curls, so you have to, um, at some point, close the petal off. Because some roses, have, you know, every rose is different, and I like that about it. Some, some petals are going to be larger, and some petals are going to be smaller and tighter. So not, nothing's perfect. The only thing that's perfect is God. And um, I just... Love making flat roses. So here we are. You'll notice I keep closing it at the same place. I've got to try and not close them all up at the same place. I've got to try and spread that out. Do a better job of it. Sometimes I just can't help myself. I just naturally stop in the same place. Okay. So I'm going to close this off. So it looks kind of like a circle. And I'm going to put my signature um, leaf here so I do a leaf however long or, or sharp or whatever you want and I put a line down the middle so all I do is I draw a line a little curved out and come towards a point like a spear point same thing curve out come back to the point and what I do next is I just come in and I just draw little tiny lines along the edge of the leaf because I've noticed that certain roses have these little jagged leaf edges. So you can put one, you can put two. See, they don't have to be the same width or anything. They can be different. Oops, that one tried to get away from me. Yep. Just drawing my little lines. It might take you a little while to get comfortable with your lines. Some of them look better than others. All right, let's start another one. So I'm just making a bunch of roses. Not all roses have to have the, the leaves, you know, depending on how big your bunch. Notice that I'm making my, I started off with a little curl. I closed it off, then I made a wider curl. So you'll notice that, um, you know, of course, as, as nature is, some buds are larger than others, some start smaller, but have seem to have more uh, of a spreading. And that's just typical in human nature too, isn't it? That some of us are all bunched up like onions and we have so many layers. And then others of us work with so much less and they do so much more with it. It just, what? How does that happen? <laughs> We're all different. All of us have different talents. All of us have different things and uh, that we can offer the world. And I just love it. I love seeing how special other people are. I know that I've lived a very interesting life, but one of my favorite things to do is find out about the people around me. What makes them special? What, you know, I'll just ask them and people are just so happy to tell you about themselves. And and I love to know amazing things. I, um, so now I'm talking, I'm in the talking phase. I'm just making roses now. So just make roses with me. 
Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more, and then I'm going to move on uh, and finish with drawing. So here's another rose here. Okay, so I'm back. So what was I saying? Oh, right. Um, people are so interesting. All right, so when I injured my back, one of the toughest things that I went through was a rehab program, uh, physical therapy and occupational therapy. The program is called Pride. It's in Dallas, Texas, and it is it's intense. It is a very intense program, and the, the people there that work there are amazing. They care about you. They want to see your progress. They push you further than they, you think you could go, and if you let them push you, um, help them, basically. Allow them to push you. Um, you can find that you're able to do things that you didn't realize you could do in pain and so they helped they helped me a lot anyway so while I was there I got to know quite a few people Marines and farmers truck drivers several truck drivers and this one little woman she was so sweet and so nice and she just seemed so professional and I asked her what she did and she was a pilot amazing so originally she told me that she had she used to sell hotel furniture so she was a hotel furniture merchandiser and um she sold it to hotels and and she was very good at her job and then she just decided what am I passionate about? What would I? What have I always wanted to do? And she went out and got her pilot's license. So she was a private pilot. Can you imagine the jump from going to hotel uh, furniture services to to um, flying for for millionaires and business owners and you know just just private pilot. Um, just amazing. I, I was so impressed. And I told her, I said, you know, I love to know about people's lives because the people that God puts in my life, you know, that's what he's sprinkling my life with. The people that are, that are around me. The people that are around me are what make my life unique. Of course, I have a very interesting life. Personally, I've done quite a bit. Uh, for music and music education. I went to the University of North Texas. I sang on stage before in Boston. I was on the radio in Boston because of a friend's re uh, song that he published. And and um, just, I've had so many wonderful experiences. It's just that the people I know are what make me happy, <laughs> knowing them. All right, so I have a bushel of roses now, and all I did was start from the middle, swirl out, and just add petals, 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 and then I made these little simple, little kind of heart-shaped, long heart-shaped uh, leaves, and then added the little edge. So now I have my bushel of roses, and I'm going to finish the rest of the... Um, Envelope in a higher speed. Yeah.